Greetings, pen friend. Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Peace and love. And, a.k.a. the pen bug guy. At your service. So, today, my friends, I'm going to do a video, which I've done before, many years ago, on how to refill an ink cartridge or an ink converter. And this is how I do mine. Others may have different styles, but this is just how I do mine. Uh, you can also look it up on my channel or anybody else's channel. But uh, I'm going to lay it out really simple and walk you through it so you'll know how to do it. It really is simple. So first of all, we're going to focus down here. <coughs> Make sure you're going to have whatever <coughs> bottle of ink you want to use. Make sure you have at least one uh, syringe. You'll need that. And the pen you want to use. And we're going to show you how to fill up a cartridge. And then I'm not actually going to fill this up, but I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. And you can just pretend that the ink went down. So first of all, here is a Pilot Metropolitan, a really nice, affordable fountain pen. Comes in many colors. Very stylish pen. Looks great. Writes really nice, I think. I, I, I like the look. I like the feel, the size, the shape. I like the way the nib writes, so it's all good. So, let's pull off the cap. It's a slip-on cap, so it has a nice size grip, so we're going to just unscrew the barrel. And there's nothing in there. Okay, so, now, the Pilot Metropolitan only uses Pilot cartridges. And if you're a cartridge user, you know, they come in, you can get them in a pack of uh, 12, and they come in different colors, which is pretty cool. Okay, and I'll open this up and show you. And there's a green and a red, and so... There you go. So, what I do is I'm, I save mine because I'm, you know, never know when I may need an empty one to refill it with a different ink. Uh, and I always want to check it, make sure it's in good condition. It doesn't have any cracks in it because sometimes they will crack over time. How do I know? Because it has happened to me. I used to just put the ink in it and not check the cartridge and it was cracked and of course the ink would be leaking out. So I learned from my mistakes. So, and first of all, cartridge fits in just like that. Okay, now when you get these pins, here's how they usually come. Or at least it's how mine came. And this goes over your cartridge to protect it. And then you just put it in. And bam, it goes in. So we'll just do it on this empty one. And that way it protects your cartridge. Okay, cool. You with me? Okay, folks. We're all good. Okay, so now... I'm going to get one of here, these syringes, and I have three of them. Uh, you can pick these syringes up anywhere. Pinchelet, Ghost Spot Pins, um, Goulet Pins, Anderson Pins, Vanessa's uh, Pin Store, uh, Jet Pins has them. Um, they're all over the place, so not hard to find. And here is your needle. Now, this needle has a dull end syringe, so it's not going to stick your hurt. As you see there, putting pressure, it's not that kind of needle, okay? And it e goes easily on the end, and it's secure, and we're ready to go. We're ready to get inked up. So far, all good, okay? So, what I'm going to do this, I'm just going to get this little tool to hold it up. Or you can just hold it by hand, either way. And I'm going to get some Lamy orange ink. 
la la la. And I don't need a lot. I'm going to put my cap back on because I'm always paranoid about knocking over a bottle since a couple of years ago. I did five or six bottles of Robert Ulster ink and knocked them all down and wasted it. Okay, so here we go. I'll just hold it up so we can do it and show you. I put it right in there. Got it? You with me? So there's a little stopper thing that yeah. you're pl putting it into? Uh -huh. It helps uh, with the ink uh, when you shake it up and down. I'll show you in a second here. And then we're done filling it up right to that line there. Can you fill it further? You can, but I would fill it right to there where that little black stopper was. And you can just shake it up and down. And you hear that little black uh, gizmo in there with it. And then I have used this without this many times. But for this review, I'll put it on for you. So we'll get that done, and we'll set this aside, and I'll put the ink back in the bottle. So, I'm going to leave this uh, right there for now, and I just want to bring this one up next. I'm not going to fill it, but I'm going to walk you through it. I'll get a, another syringe, put the needle on as I did before, really simple. And this is when you stick your converter into the bottle of ink with your uh, nib unit on and you twist it and you're having a hard time getting a, a good fill. Sometimes it won't fill. You have to do it again. Then again, sometimes you might get half or just a little bit in there, but you want just to get a total full converter. What I do is I just bring that all the way down I got my ink let's say I put it the needle in here and then I feel the uh, converter all the way up to about here and after I do that I want to for me what how I do it I expel uh, maybe a drop a little you know go down so if it's full like this again syringe stick it in there fill it up so it's filled from here to here as a full fill so I want to expel just a few drops so take a little turn boom and just expel just a little bit of ink to get any air bubbles out that it may be in the conversion at least I've done that for years that's my style of doing it and then you put it into a pen and you're good to go a pen that accepts, you know, the standard universal uh, converters. This is, a, you can use this converter on Jinhao pens, uh, just about, oh, well, just a lot of different brands of pens. Uh, you can use them all. They're pretty handy. So, you know, that's all there is to it. So, I hope this helps the new people that are interested in fountain pens, the new people that are kind of scratching their head like I did on ways to fill their pens, uh, on what to do if they run out of cartridges but they have inks they like to use and they have a empty cartridge that uh, they could use but uh, they want to fill up, but they're not sure how to do that. I'd make sure I'd get some of these little guys. You know, two or three. I think they come two in a pack. Depends where you get them. I think I had four or six at one time. So, I always keep these handy. You never know when you're going to need one. Well, that's going to cover up all this stuff in this video. In my next video, I'll be doing soon is um, how to how I clean out and flush out my fountain pen uh, and uh, it's very easy 
Uh, it can't be time consuming. Uh, it just depends. And I'll do it here in the pin room. I'm not going to do it in the bathroom. Uh, so uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Folks, that'll do me today. I hope you all joined with me to the very end. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Bing. Hit that little subscribe button just right over there. And then while you're at it, just move on over to the bell and hit the bell. Bing. So it'll notify you when I come on with a new video. So that's going to wrap up this video on how to fill your cartridge or your converter and the tools you need to do it okay take care wash your hands my friends be safe stay six feet distance from people wear your mask when you're out there and as always don't text and drive god bless be safe bye bye